How does the brain work? What is intelligence? That's really a big scientific and technological question that a lot of people are, are fascinated by. In the 30s, people realized that you could sort of mechanize logic. Uh, this was, you know, classic work of Alan Turing, for example. And then in the 40s, people started realizing that they could reduce thought to a series of simple operations, and they started making the parallel with the brain. The phrase artificial intelligence was coined in 1956. The current AI systems that are capable of learning are inspired by the brain the same way airplanes are inspired by birds. The bird is an existence proof of the possibility of heavier than air flight, and the brain is an existence proof that an intelligent entity can learn from interacting with the world. AI has the ability to change life for each and every individual in the world. There's a lot of excitement around how can we personalize applications to make smarter decisions for people. We're going to have better image recognition, speech recognition, better systems for medical diagnosis. We're going to have cars that drive themselves, number of traffic accidents will go down. I mean, you know, AI will save lives. I mean, that's kind of a good motivation to work on it. A lot of the problems are very complex, and without a rich data set, it's difficult for the algorithms to learn. What's changed over the last couple of years is cloud computing has made it possible for anyone to run large jobs and have enormous compute power available at any time. AI is moving so quickly, we're having research breakthroughs every day, and we want to get those research breakthroughs into the hands of people as quickly as possible. With Onyx, we're trying to create a world where more of the AI tools work together. Onyx provides a common language by which we can exchange models that we've learned from data. Imagine you're in a group of children and there's Lego, there's Duplo. They typically don't fit with each other, so you can't really play with each other. But if you design the interface pieces, then all of a sudden you can play in a group. It actually accelerates the speed by which we make progress in areas of AI. You don't want systems that have to be re-engineered each time. Platforms like Onyx allow us to build on each other's success. You know, open source frameworks like this help everyone in the community make progress in AI uh, because we don't have a monopoly on good ideas. And everybody knows they don't have a monopoly on good ideas. Research is always about the research community. Every invention is ultimately the, the work of many people feeding into it. The famous physicist Richard Feynman said that you don't understand something until you build it yourself. If you build an intelligent system, you understand more about human nature. I think it will work with us. It will be of us. We have to put our better selves into the AI. And if we do that, we're all set.